Well, this afternoon, the La Crosse County Historical Society sponsored the Enduring Families Projects in honor of Black History Month. The event was held at the La Crosse Area Heritage Center to showcase the stories of the black residents who called La Crosse home in the 19th century. News 8 now Shaquille Davis was there and has more on the story. Mike, Denise Christie Moss is one of the producers on the project, and she tells me that one important thing you will learn from this project is details about a historical local politician. And his name is? George Edwin Taylor, who was the first African American to run for president in 1904, who was raised in the West Salem area. With Monday being President's Day and it being Black History Month, she feels it's fitting that this story is being told, as well as the story of Lydia Moss. Who had her own barber shop in the mid to late 1800s, which was a very unusual thing. The actress that will play Lydia Moss during the project also owns her own barber shop in town. So this is an example of art, life imitating art. Denise says these stories are important to lacrosse because people need to know that there's a very diverse history here. Because lacrosse is becoming more multicultural, a sense of inclusiveness can be fostered by telling these stories about his historical lacrosse. Rebecca Mormon Krieger, historian and researcher of the Enduring Families Project, says she wants people to know that they exist. She meets a lot of people who've actually never heard of this project. I'm kind of astounded because we're in the newspaper a lot, we're on TV a lot, uh, we do a lot of presentations, and people still do not know we exist. Some people do, but not everybody. Rebecca wants everyone to know that after today's event, there's more to come. Children's books are coming. The first book is going to be published and will be available in June. First of all, it's going to be available to the schools. Uh, the La Crosse Community Foundation has made it possible for all the schools to get a free copy. A lot of people are asking me where they're going to be able to purchase the books. And Rebecca's still working out those details. Nonetheless, these women will be continuing telling more stories when they visit the AAUW on March 9th to give a presentation. Now, when I asked Denise about the fourth story that was supposed to be told about an Ashley Shivers, she jokingly said, Ashley caught the flu. Well, we wish her a speedy recovery. Mike. Thanks, Shaq. Shaquille Davis reporting live in studio. Thank you very much.